if it's July, it must be Christmas or at least our annual Christmas in July challenge. I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt free, cashed up and laughing. And today is day 23 of our annual Christmas in July challenge. Today we're going to talk about stocking stuffers. It's time to start looking now for those little things that you can use for stocking stuffers. Um, they are absolutely everywhere. Little notebooks, um, pens, markers, um, you can even get little mini pens, mini gel pens in sets at $2 shops, small Lego sets, uh, toiletries, miniature toiletries, stickers, colouring books, even for adults with a set of pencils, perfumes, aftershaves, hair accessories, car accessories, novelty desk items, jars of nuts or chocolates, DVDs, CDs, they're all things that fit in a Christmas stocking and all things that will be on sale between now and the end of November. Truly. They're also all things that you might already have in your present box or you might already have them unused in a cupboard or, here's a good one, you can pick them up in op shops or on buy swap sell groups for virtually nothing they are all things that will store for a while too so add them to your present box now to save money time and energy in december then in early december you can add the food component to your stockings things like tea bags coffee lovely biscuits i can heartily recommend um the range, sorry, I can heartily recommend, really I can, I'm drinking one right now, the range of flavoured teas at the reject shop. They're a dollar a box, they're Tesco brand. They are delicious and they will go, they fit very well in a stocking. Coffees, things like that, shortbreads, and they don't have to be homemade. Of course, if you want to make homemade ones, then you'll have to do it closer to the time. But all these things um, can be bought really quite cheaply ahead of time. So I would suggest keep some of your gift budget so that you can stock up on them in December when they're on sale and when you need them. The perishables I add to Christmas stockings are the things like the fancy cereals, the Fruit Loops and Cocoa Pops and Nutrigain, the Kellogg's variety packs, the little packets of chips and cheesels and things, tiny jars of Nutella, the chocolate bars and things like that. When my kids were small, they'd also get, you know, fancy toothpaste, bananas in pyjamas or something, and a matching toothbrush. Then they get bubble bath or shower gel, as well as all the cereals and other treats. And I'd add a new face washer. It was usually a licensed one, Disney for Hannah, Spider-Man, Batman, something like that for the boys, whatever their craze was that year. Now, these are all things that my family still looks for in their stockings because they're things that I didn't and I still don't buy through the year. They are a once-a-year Christmas treat. That's why I fill the stocking with all these things. And because no one said Christmas stockings can't be practical as well as fun. If you know someone who might like our Christmas in July challenge or who might like to know more about the Cheapskates Club, please click the share button below me and I'll be back tomorrow with another great Christmas in July tip for you brought to you by the Cheapskates Club.